The business of tubing in Asheville is blowing up this summer. One area tubing company says this past weekend marked its busiest ever. News 13's Ashley Searles is streaming live from Zen Tubing along the French Broad River. Ashley, a good year for them. That's right, a great summer so far for these guys. We're here at Zen Tubing. You can get a look over here. Now, of course, this place is closed up. It's after dark. It's also pouring rain. But earlier today on a Wednesday, a weekday, this place was packed with dozens of folks looking to get out on the river. We got stuck in the trees a few times, but um, we saw some ducks. That was fun. I had a lot of fun like exploring the islands out there. Did you guys have fun today? 1,000 customers in one day. We ran out of tubes here. It was out of control. Hitting the French Broad Saturday in Zen Tubing's huge inflatable donuts. You don't really need any skill. <laughs> so anybody can do it. I mean, you can't fall out of these things. July 4th was on a Friday, and nobody wants to put up with uh, Uncle Bob uh, for, for two or three days. It was the biggest weekend on record for the three-year-old company, and it's been like that so far this summer. It blows my mind how many more people there are on the French Broad River now than there were... Uh, you know, three years ago, four years ago. Zen just opened up a second location, banking on the fact that the tide is rising for tubing. And there's just a lot of people coming to Asheville, and they want to find something to do. It's a pretty cool thing to do around here. And while businesses are blowing up out on the river, it's not just companies, but spillover. We're probably going to do it a lot, so we figured it would be more reasonable to buy one. Locals putting in out on their river on their own. There you go. <laughs> As of right now, there are only a handful of big tubing companies here in Asheville, but there is an outdoor sort of adventure center set to open up off of Amboy Road. I talked to someone over the phone from behind that project, and they said it's primarily for climbers right now, but it's not out of the question that sometime down the road, that could be a tubing destination too. Reporting live tonight in Asheville, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.